Hi, I'm Trevor Hirschberg, and uh, here's a video on shoeing a horse in Mesa, Arizona. All right, today we're going to shoe a horse, and I'm going to explain some things. And first thing I want to do is um, explain some of my equipment, because you can see I'm sitting on the anvil. This is where I shape shoes. This is the forge, kind of like an oven. It's grown on propane, and this is where I heat the shoes up and we shape them. If you come around this side, this is all the different shoes we have to select from. All right, so today we're gonna to go through some um, the, the shoeing techniques and what I look for. And um, here comes the horse. So the first thing I wanna look at is how the horse is moving when it comes towards me. I'll look at the way that it lands and the way it moves. All right, well, let's talk to the owner. Hi. Hi. So how's your horse moving? Oh, he's been having a little bit of trouble with his right lead lately. Okay. Why don't you walk him away from me and let's see how he moves. I always feel like the horse walking away is also very important. I like to look from right behind him and see how he lands. See if I could see anything that I need to change during the shoeing. All right, that's good. Let's bring him back and get started. All right, so I also like to ask uh, some questions before I get started, especially on a new client. I'll ask, like, for example, how old is your horse? He's nine years old. Nine years old, and um, what do you do with him? I show jump. You show jump. How many times a week do you ride? Yeah. About five. Five like times? All right. Well, let's get started and see if we can help you with that lead change. All right, so now we're going to tie him up and we're going to get started. And the reason I asked about the, uh, his age and how much he rides because that all affects the workload on his hoof. So I'm going to start on the right foot and for, for time purposes I'm just going to shoot one foot today and I'll show you how I do it and uh, we'll take it from there, alright? So first thing I do is I come over here and I, and I look at the horse's hoof and I see how, I see how the um, hoof has reacted to the last shooting, whether it's mine or somebody else's. I'll see if the shoe has uh, been overgrown. I'll check the angle of the of the uh, the hoof, and I'll see how the shoe has um, lasted on this horse. So for right now, I can see that we have a little bit of a low heel. The shoe looks okay right here, but maybe we need a little more support, and or maybe he's just due. So let's take this let's take the shoe off and see how this hoof looks. All right, so first, I, first thing I gotta do is I gotta take off this shoe. So I just take these shoe pullers, pop this thing loose. This is the old shoe. Sometimes we reuse the shoe, sometimes we don't. Okay, clean this out. First thing I do is just take a little bit of this sole off and I'm going to check the lamini, see how this horse has been doing the last six weeks. So right here is the lamini and if, if that is red or stretched, I know I have a serious problem. And I also look at how the hoof here has lasted over the last six weeks. If we have blowouts or if it's crushed. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, more of this off, and because this horse's heels are low, I'm going to leave everything back here alone. Instead of cleaning this all up and taking this off and having to put a pad on, I'm going to leave this alone, and I'm just going to reduce the leverage off the toe. So how far do I go? Well, you can see I've kind of cupped it out a little bit right here to where I'm going to trim. And because this horse has a low heel, I'm going to take just the front half of this foot off. There, I've nipped a little bit. Take my file, I'm gonna level this off. I'm 
going to take a little bit more of a tow here. So my job here is not to take every little piece of foot off. My job here is to reduce the leverage a little bit and put some new shoes on. I'm going to roll this a little bit more because he has a bit of a low heel. I'm going to make sure this hoof wall is even. See right here? And it gets a little thicker. So I'm going to even that up a little bit. So I feel like this is pretty healthy. This white part's nice and white. There's no redness. Hoof walls in one piece. Frog looks good. So now I'm going to make sure everything is nice and level. We're going to line everything to the cannon bone with this tool. Looks like it's a little bit high on the lateral or outside. So, I'm going to file a little bit more. And here's a little trick. You would say, oh, his heels are a little bit contracted, right? So, what do I want to do? I'm going to open them up a little bit. Like that. Takes the weight off of here, puts it here. I'm going to check it again. Pretty close. I'm going to take a little bit more off. That should be just about right. I'm going to, I'm going to check the length. So the other hooves are very close. All right, and that should be it for that hoof. As you can see, I took some toe off, evened up the hoof wall. I did not dissect the entire back of the hoof and didn't leave him anything with a stand on, so it should be good. I'm going to put it down, see how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. All right, let's go pick out a horseshoe. So, you can see we got sizes here from double lot all the way to a five. So, let's see. I think this horse is probably an ot or a one. So... See, that's, a, that's a two. Let's go see how that looks. That looks pretty good. It's gonna have to be shaped a little bit. I think it looks all right. So I kind of I kind of check to see what I have to do to change it. I see that the, the heels come in. The toe is nice and wide. So I'm gonna have to modify this shoe. So I, in my in my mind. I say, okay, I gotta bring this in and I gotta bring that in. But the toe looks pretty good. All right, let's put this thing in the fire. So I'm gonna put this in the fire. Just a minute, I gotta turn the propane on. All right. You can see it's in there and this is all run on propane. Up. While, that's, while that's warming up, I'm going to go clean up this foot a little bit. Let's move this guy over a little bit. He's really well behaved, but he's almost falling off there. All right. Okay, Cody. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to make sure there's no flares. Some people might say, are you trying to make his foot look pretty by filing it? And that's not the case. What I'm trying to do is just even out the hoof wall, like this rasp. Here's the hoof wall. I just want it nice and even so it's strong. So I'm going to run this file. And as the colors change, consistent all the way from the top to bottom, I know I'm pretty close. So if I was filing this and it wasn't changing like that, I would have to work on it a little bit more. So I'm just going to run this along this hoof and make sure that we're nice and even.
take out any flares. You can see I'm not really taking off that much. Just want to make sure that both walls are even. I, I check for cracks. I look in the hairline, make sure there's no quarter cracks, make sure there's no bruising. It's very important. That's how we either change or stay with the same shoeing. We look at a horse's hoof and see how he reacts to what we do to it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to do the other side. As you can see, I didn't really take off a whole lot. Making it nice and even. Like I said, this has nothing to do with just making sure it looks pretty. This is just to make sure that it's nice and even. One of the things I think about when I shoe a horse is how their hoof is. Not just a horseshoe, but their hoof. And when there's problems with a horse's hoof, it shows up. Whether or not they're not feeling well, or they've had a really hard workload, it all shows up in their hoof. And that's when I make changes if I have to. So you can see, this hoof, I haven't done much to it. It's pretty healthy. So somebody would say, how's my horse doing? I'd say it's pretty good. There's no bulging, there's no cracks, it's all one nice piece. So this horse is doing pretty good. Let's make a horseshoe. All right, this should be hot enough. I'm gonna check it. Get close. You can see how red it turns. I'm gonna give it a few more seconds and then I'm gonna shape it. As you can remember, I had to bring in the heels a little bit, right? The toe was fine, but I got to bring the heels in. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna think about when I shape this shoe. And I'm gonna check it. But we'll see how I do. I'm trying to do it in one shot, but we'll see. I've been doing this horse for a while, so maybe I'll get it. All right. That looks like it's pretty close, right? All right, I'm gonna shape it. This won't take too long. All you gotta do is bring that around a little bit. All right, that's what we have to do. Bring that around. Close. All right, make sure it's level. Take out some sole, some, uh, relieve the sole a little bit. Like that. When it's nice and hot, it's pretty easy to shape. I don't have to, I don't have to wail on it. It's almost like clay when it's this hot. All right, check it a few more times. Make sure it's nice and level. That looks pretty good. Check it. All right, let's go check the horse. See how close I am. All right, these are, this is the shoe holder, because it's hot, and I'm gonna check the fit. pretty close. See I'm burning this shoe on right? Checking the fit. I look at it. Pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Burned almost all the way around. Shoe fits good. I got it one shot. All right. I'm gonna cool this off and then we'll explain a few things but I think that shoe is gonna fit fine uh, and I'll do the other three another time. So let's cool this off. It's nice and cool. I can hold it with my hand now. I'm gonna check it one more time cold. Good boy, Cody. Alright, so I'm gonna hold this up one more time cold. I'm gonna look at it. It looks pretty good. I think that's gonna work. So I'm gonna put this shoe on, but first I'm gonna do a few alterations to it just to make sure that he's got some good breakover. You can see this shoe is pretty, pretty new, okay? So I'm gonna um, take some of this edging and stuff off it. You 
know, brand new horseshoes are are tough for a horse to walk on, and sometimes horses have shoes on for a couple months and they get a little bit worn. We put brand new ones on. Well, it took them two months to get that break over just the way they wanted. So what I like to do is I'll put that into the brand new horseshoe. So instead of having a really thick brand new shoe, I'm going to take some of that edge off so you can so Cody can walk on that a little better. And <clears throat> he has a bit of a low heel, and we try to reduce the leverage off the toe. So taking some of that edge off will help also. Okay, so you can see I took a little bit of edge off so he doesn't have to walk on a new shoe. Now this shoe has clips on it uh, that helps, helps the shoe from not moving. Most of the shoes I use have clips. You don't have to use clips, but I just think it's a little bit better of a shoe. And you can also see I took the edge off so if he were to step on himself or the back, shoe, if the back foot would come up and hit the shoe, it won't take the shoe off. So we've taken the edges off. We gave him a little bit of a break over. All right, let's put the shoe on and see how it looks. Some people say to me, why do you burn the shoe on? Does it not hurt the horse? Well, it doesn't hurt the horse. The horse's hoof is not a very good conductor of heat. In fact, let me show you something. I burnt that shoe on, right? You can see where I burnt it? Let's see how deep that really is. Look at that. That was paper thin. If this is burnt, this isn't burnt. That's how far it went. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this sole relief off so the horseshoe doesn't push on this part of the foot, just like that. Here's the shoe that I made. One last check, make sure it fits. Looks pretty good. I'm going to use some horseshoe nails to put this on. These shoes are tapered, they come out. So, you know, you watch a farrier put a shoe on, you think, how do they do that without hurting the horse? Well, these shoes are taped, these nails are tapered, and they come out on their own. So, I'm going to put the shoe on. And with these. With these clip shoes, it doesn't take that many nails, so that's another advantage. Looks pretty good. So when I make when I when I trim this foot and I made the shoe, when I was done trimming, I was done. After I was done trimming this foot, it was the way I wanted it, I made a shoe for that foot. I didn't alter it. When you watch when I get done with this, I'm not going to change this foot any more than it already is. I think I'm going to go with four nails. That'll be plenty. Does it hurt the horse? Not at all. The hoof wall is like our fingernail. There's no, it's not sensitive at all. This part is. If you went in there. But not the hoof wall. The hoof wall doesn't have any sensitivity to it. And it's the same distance all the way up. So I can go straight up this hoof wall. And the harder I hit this, the faster it comes out. So I got keep it in, keep it in, and then I make sure it comes out. Alright, I'm gonna go with four nails. That should be it. Alright, I think it looks alright. Kind of comes around. 
Looks good, good support. Check it one more time when it's on the ground. It looks all right. All right, let's finish this thing up. Get all my tools straight. All right, Cody, let's finish this thing up. I'm gonna tap these clips in a little bit. Some people like to burn these in. I don't. I don't like to affect the hoof at all. Once I make the shoe, I like to leave it, leave the hoof alone. So I'm gonna just gouge a little bit underneath this nail. Kind of gives a place for the nail to go onto. These are called clinchers. I'm gonna even these nails out. I'm gonna use these clinchers. I'm gonna bend the nail over. Just make sure this is nice and smooth so if anybody touches this or he touches it, it doesn't cut them. I'm gonna make sure that it's all fits. And you can see I touched these nails. There's nothing I have to do to the hoof anymore. Once I trimmed the foot, I made a shoe, and that's it. I'm not gonna do anything to the foot because that's the way I wanted it. And I made a shoe for this foot. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. Tap this in a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just gouge underneath there. I'm gonna even these nails out a little bit. Like that. Clinch these nails. And I'm just going to file them smooth. All right, there we go. That's it for Cody. On that one foot, you can see I trimmed it. We made a shoe. I think it fits really nice. I can touch the shoe all the way around. It's set back slightly because he had a little bit of a heel problem. No cracks. That's it. I think Cody's gonna be okay for the next six weeks. So I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about horseshoeing. Thank you.